All right, guys, here we go. Episode 161, playing against the Oregon Ducks this week. And we are doing all right. Rush offense, not so great, but regular offense. Man, we're just putting up some yards. Throwing the ball really well, which is kind of a surprise because for a long time there, I was a running team. But I guess I finally got a passing team. They got a lot of offensive powerhouses for their top players, so we just got to watch out for that. Um, luckily, with some injuries, maybe we don't have to watch out for that much. But right into the game, they, I think, end up getting a, a field goal on their first shot. So we get the ball now. Second and seven, nice little triple option. Hand it off to Richard for a huge gain. Huge gain, just running running for days, 25 yards. Third and goal, drop back the pass. And I'll try to throw it in the double coverage. So I'll take my field goal, be happy with it. Got the ball back again, first and 10. And nice little counter play, I think. I don't remember what just happened. Do a little read option, run into my own lineman. Luckily, 85 gets out there and gets a huge block for us. Just got to outrun that speedy dude, number 20. Holy crap. <laughs> Diving to the end zone for the touchdown. We take our first lead of the day, 10 to 3. So I get the ball now, right after the kickoff. Little run up the middle to James, and I'm going to make a big tackle and just get absolutely ran over. So much for the big tackle, and he is gone. Uh, there, Luke's not going to catch him. So I dive way too soon. Doesn't really matter. So they instantly tie it right back up. So 10 10, not looking good for me in the first quarter. <laughs> Second five, drop back, hit my tie down a little out route. Yeah, I just don't throw slants. Or post routes. Yeah, I can throw out routes or in routes, whatever. I do what I want. Hand it off to Jennings for the touchdown. We take back our lead, 17 to 10, in the second quarter. They go, we get up getting the ball. I'm assuming they punt. Third and five, hand the pass off to Bodge, who gets laid out. My gosh. Second and two, and oh my gosh, this team hits hard. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> my tight end just got laid out. So I'll just run it in. Jennings will run over people for the touchdown. He's like, I'll, I'll take an easy touchdown, go up. Go by 14. They end up kicking a field goal. Give me too much time on the clock. Hit ballage on my little post route, flag route, whatever you want to call it. Sets me up pretty good. Second 10, and I find Wiggins for the one-handed grab. Oh, my gosh. Jeffrey looking sweet right there. So going into the half, we are we are doing pretty good. It's like 31 to 13 or something like that. Pretty dominating performance. The stats aren't that much different in, in all reality. I'm like 250, 58 yards. 358 yards. They got 230. So maybe... Maybe not. Maybe I'm putting up a better performance than I think. <laughs> so I try to throw my, my my tight end route. I thought the guy was in his zone. He dropped back because there was nobody underneath and just picked it off for the house. That's what happens when you try to throw the same route over and over and over again. Mike Berry, one of their top players, picks it off, makes me suffer. So the ensuing kickoff, yeah, you know where this is going. This is going nowhere. I'm going to get tackled. <laughs> that was a good return, though. My safety is a good returner, dude. I'm very happy with him. First and goal, drop back. This time hit King for the touchdown. Gets laid out again, but hangs on to the football. This dude's only a freshman. I'm very happy with my, my receiving core. And it's only going to get better. That's all I've been recruiting all offseason. Receivers, too. Receivers and tight ends. So, second and two now, drop back. And look at that. They leave McCutcheon wide open. You're going to play a zone, dude. I'll just throw it right, right after he gets past your zone. What are you going to do about it? Go up 45 to 20. Pretty dominating performance. Second and 10. Lobs it up to the end zone. And if it was real life, you would have put the ball to the pylon. That's a video game, so he didn't. Fourth and goal. Has all day to throw it. Lobs it up in the air. Scott with a pick. Yes, sir. And luckily, I was still in the end zone. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to be, but I was. Second and two. Little quarterback keeper. And, ooh, tried to juke back to the way. Didn't quite make it in time. Odom did all right. So second inches. I'm like, oh, I got this. Hit ball. for a nice little touchdown. Here we go. 51 to 20 it is a not not good game so we made making, making them punt it we get the ball and they rip me <laughs> they rip me and reese is gonna take it to the house 59 is the only guy that's close enough to catch him and he's way too slow to catch him so they rip me on the punt return for a touchdown that's uh that's not good or do they booth review the computer decides to review it i'm like heck yeah i'll take your review i'll be happy about that and looking at it looks like my knee's down I mean, this is the video game that says if you step on the white, on the on the out of bounds, that you're in bounds. So I don't know. That could be not a fumble. That could be a fumble. Let's see what the dude says. And he goes, "It is not a fumble. It is overturned. Luckily for me, <laughs> they don't get it. So third and eleven after that fumble, drop back to pass, and I lob it for some reason. And the dude Thomas just out jumps Bollage for the pick in the end zone. But we get the win anyway. This is pretty dominating performance in Eugene. And player of the game, Brad Odom, of course, 20 for 31, 336 yards, four touchdowns. I think he had four picks. I threw the ball a little too much, but hey, eh, number one, or number top five offense, top five passing offense. I'll do what I want. Can't tell me what to do. Games around the country, nobody cares. West Virginia and Boston College. <laughs> Looking at the stats, yeah, three turnovers. Other than that, we just whooped, whooped the crap out of them. 
has beat him down. Plays a game for me. Odom and Richardson had a couple of sacks. Looking pretty good. Pretty good game overall. Looking forward to see how everybody else did. So we'll be right back with uh, everybody else's scores. All right, just got done showing the highs from the game against Oregon. Once again, pretty close to the first half and then just turned it on, or at least the first quarter, then just turned it on and kind of ran away with it. Second half started the, the second, yeah, second half, third quarter off with a bad interception. And that was the end of the story after that. Just hit the hit the gas pedal and didn't didn't stop. <laughs> I ran for us, ran, if you want to look at it that way. So let's see how everybody, everybody else did. Penn State ends up beating Nebraska 66-28. Um, got messages from both guys about the game. Um, was a little bit, a little bit outside the the limit that I would like, because that's what, thirty eight. That's thirty eight instead of twenty eight, so ten more points um, than than needed. But um, I, I can't, I can't control all the games. I can't control any game besides mine, actually. Um, like I said, we, we try to keep it within twenty eight if if possible. It just would like to be that way, because <laughs> I, I know I know Merck could have easily beat me one year, way worse than he than that. Cause he beat me twenty eight to nothing, and that was like the first quarter or second quarter, and he could have he could have easily just put the boots to the throat and ended the game, in in humiliating fashion. But he he showed me some mercy, which I appreciate. So it's just maybe it was just one of those games where just couldn't couldn't stop. Maybe I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able. To, I wasn't able to watch that game. Missouri ends up winning 41-38. Iowa wins 52-21. NC State didn't get his game in. He sent me a message um, saying he's uh, out of town or will be out of town. I don't remember, but he's going to be gone. So the miss is not going to count against him uh, just because he let me know. I mean, he was he was upfront about not being able to play. West Virginia, the new guy. Uh, I think it's Bonner Squad. It's not Boner Squad. Don't. Don't think about it. This guy is legit. Um, he is the number one rated dude on Xbox Live rated games, ranked games. So, <laughs> interested to see what his game is going to be like. Yeah, whoever he plays, the computer, I'm, I'm ready to see what his stats are. Was somebody that's that good jumping into the dynasty? Very interested to see how that's gonna that's gonna work out for us. Gonna be some real competition. Um, maybe he has a shot at taking out Merc. Merc's only lost like one game in the past two years, and that was on a sim <laughs> or in a long time. Merck hasn't lost in a long time, so maybe that's some competition for him and the Italian because I can't seem to beat the Italian anymore over there. So, uh, welcome to the Dynasty, dude. Looking forward to having you in. I'm not going to show TGIF Forever score. Kansas State, he played the Italian this week. He also said he was going to record it. I'm not 100% if he, if he is or not. I don't quite remember his channel. I think it's TGIF Forever. Because uh, he wasn't Dynasty way back when. But he's recording it also. If I do remember, link's in the description. If not, check out the Italian video. He's got it. So you're going to skip over him real quick. Kansas ended up not playing their game this week. I'm pretty sure he sent me a message saying he wasn't going to be able to play. Not 100%. So I'm going to assume not. And say this is the first one on the road. Last week he set himself to autopilot, which was cool. Um, but didn't give his game in. So sorry, you're going to skip past. you got to keep, keep things rolling. We saw a Nebraska game. Texas A&M. I uh, didn't get his game in. Sorry, dude. I'm going to skip past you. Mid-Tennessee State wins 38-35-28. And if you want to see the Oklahoma State, K-State game, make sure you check out the Italians channel or TGIF Forever's channel. Links will more than likely be in the description. So we're going to advance it and see what happened in the top 25. And we'll be right back. All right, just going to with the advance. End up playing Colorado this week. I don't know if we played them last year or not. So hopefully... We'll get a nice little victory here. I don't think I have anybody visiting. I think it's all next week. No, week 10. I don't, I don't, it's not next week. I think next week is a out of, out of town game. It's week 10. So I'm playing USC, I think. I don't remember. But see how everybody else in the dynasty did. Uh, Penn State is playing Rutgers. Not how they did. We already know how they did. Where, who they play this week. Missouri's playing Florida. Iowa is playing Michigan State. NC State's playing Florida State. West Virginia is playing Texas. K State's got a bye week this week. Kansas is playing Oklahoma. Nebraska's got a bye week. Texas A&M's got a bye week. Mid Tennessee State's got a bye week. Wow, all the bye weeks. And Oklahoma State's playing TCU. It was supposed to be a user game. TCU, like previously, no longer in the dynasty. So should be should be a good little win for the Italian over there. Check out top twenty-five. See what's going on. Whoop, too far. And bam, number three lost. 
Wait, what? What the? I'm really confused. Number three didn't lose. Number three won and dropped back three spots. I guess because they only have four games and these other teams have six games. Wow. That's like some real life college football playoff system rankings right there. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, well, so they, but they won. So we got one, four, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. 11, 12. Wait, am I in there? I was going to say seven. Yeah, I was like, I moved up. Me and six a and swapped. Okay, okay. It's like, am I still ranked? Dude, me and him swapped, even though I got two less games than he does. It's really confusing. And then we have anybody else? Anybody else? And yeah, it used to be mid NC State's almost ranked. There we go. NC State dropped out. They must have lost on the advance. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. Moving right along. Check out the conference standings real quick. We're going to run through those. Um, not look a whole lot at them. We're probably just going to look at the overall. So the SEC, well, I guess not. Missouri's got that side locked up as long as they went out. Texas A&M's got to be Auburn, and they should have a shot for the championship. Sun Belt, nobody over there. ACC, it would be NC State, but he's uh, he's having an off year. I think he's, he posted a message saying he's just going to call this a, a losing season and move on because he's not not doing so well over there but oklahoma state k-state west virginia kansas man the big 12 like overloaded with users now four people in that conference and only one champ no conference championship just we always got the better record big 10 got penn state got the got the east side on the west side northwestern the computer team that i used to be dominating they still got to play Iowa and Nebraska, so could could be very well Iowa Penn State. That's been how it's been when I was over there. I couldn't beat Iowa. Uh, Mid Tennessee State's looking pretty good. They just got to win out their conference. They should be all right. Uh, nobody in the MAC. Nobody in the Mountain West. Pac-12. Washington. That's who we played last year. And in the South, it's me to dominate my teams. Doing pretty good. I think we're doing all right. And haven't played anybody in our division until this week. It's gonna be our first division game. So hopefully we get a nice little victory there. But other than that, we are moving right along, man. Doing doing really good. Keeping pretty active. We're getting people willing to fill slots. It's moving along quite nicely. So we're in week eight, ready to roll. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.